Hi. Hi, folks. Look what appeared in today's issue of the Dallas Morning News, the actual article. See, this has to do with a young lady, this lady here, Sandra Fluke, who's a law student at the Catholic University in Washington, D.C., Georgetown University. She appeared in front of a congressional committee conducted by that Demo Democrat congresswoman from San Francisco, Nancy Pelosi. And at this congressional committee hearing, Ms. Fluke was lamenting the fact that she had to pay for her contraceptives. Yeah! She basically said there was a whole lot of sex going on at this university and it was costing the woman a, a lot of money to pay for contraceptives to avoid uh, getting pregnant. She felt that the university's health care insurance should bear the cost of these contraceptives and or a government mandate telling them to pay for it. That's right. She wants at a Catholic university the insurance company to pay for her contraceptives so when she has multiple sex as she somewhat claimed she did and other students there claiming why it's, it's a financial burden for me to pay for these contraceptives. Remember now, sex is an elective activity but they want somebody else to support this elective activity. So conservative radio talk show host Rush Limbaugh he comments about this on his radio show and he uses some words which the liberals, the feminists find rather inflammatory. He used the word prostitute, he used the word slut and that's what this is all about. They're upset. How dare you say that? Where's your civil discourse? The nerve of you to use such words in reference to women. To which I have to say, really? Where was this outrage when liberal commentators on television and in the radio use similar if not worse adjectives in reference to the one-time governor of the state of Alaska, Sarah Palin? The words, the derogatory statements thrown at her from the Democrats, from the Liberals, was muted. There was no controversy. There was no outrage. But let a conservative say something, and there's outrage. That's the hypocrisy in the feminist movement in these here United States of America. And, and, and I got a question. These women are claiming it costs so much for these contraceptives. Where were these women when I went to college? <laughs> Do I have to go back to college at Georgetown University? But here's another concern. If it's costing you so much money to have sex, why aren't you asking your partner to bear the cost? Because I'm sure any guy would be willing to pay for the contraceptives as long as he knows what's on the other end of that payment. <laughs> Hi, folks. We'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. And God bless the nation you happen to be. See ya at Georgetown University. I'm signing up. <laughs>